Today we're going to talk about the classification of hydrocarbons. So, hydrocarbons are mainly divided into two types. There are aliphatic hydrocarbons and aromatic hydrocarbons. So, as for the aliphatic hydrocarbons, they consists of two types. We have um, open chain aliphatic hydrocarbons and closed rings. So the open chain hydrocarbons doesn't form rings. They uh, just form uh, straight lines or other shapes but they don't uh, form closed formations. So the open chain hydrocarbons has uh, three uh, shapes. Uh, there are alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Alkanes, alkenes, and um, alkynes. Alkanes are called saturated. They are called saturated because the carbons, all of the carbons for single bonds, or in other words, all of the carbons are attached to hydrogens. For example, C2H6, which is um, ethane. Its molecular structure is as follows. So, the carbon here forms four bonds, and this other carbon also forms four bonds. But if we say a thin then the molecular structure will be so. There is a double bond between the two carbons here. So each carbon will have three bonds. So in this case it's unsaturated. The same case here in the alkynes where the uh, carbon can form three um, or a triple bond, so in this case the carbon will form only two bonds, this one and this one. So both alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated. This is for the open chain hydrocarbons, aliphatic hydrocarbons. Then there are closed rings and we have aromatic uh, hydrocarbons. The aromatic hydrocarbons are unsaturated because the, uh, they contain double bonds like benzene ring. The benzene ring is an aromatic ring or naphthalene. So, this is naphthalene. So, these are examples for aromatic rings. As for the closed aliphatic hydrocarbons, um, we can have, um, for example, cyclopentane, cyclohexane, where no double bonds are involved. So basically this is the classification of hydrocarbons. Until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.